Sure, so good morning. My name is Frank Conway. I'm an experimental test pilot with the Boeing Company. Oh, yeah. And today we'll be demonstrating the SB Greater Than One Defiant, which is our entry, the Sikorsky and Boeing Company's entry into the joint multi-role. And it's a compound coaxial rotor with a pusher prop in the back. It's the X2 technology. And that's quite a new, new system? That's correct. So the X2 has flown uh, with Sikorsky, and this configuration is based on that technology. All right, so what we have basically down low is a conventional helicopter. So I can just come right. We have a unique trim on the side stick, so it's going to hold whatever attitude I release it at. Come left. We have all our mass aligned on the center line. Longitudinal axis of the aircraft makes this very maneuverable, very stable in a hover. Very good directional control with our heading control. Very good pitch pointing. I can bring it up and down from a hover using the prop to hold the position. Bring it back and accelerate out. You've got a couple options. We can do a level axel on the prop. I can also dump the nose, bring some rotor in with the collective. As I accelerate with the prop, we control the prop with a thumb wheel, which allows us to accelerate. Once we uh, get going towards airplane type flight, about 120 knots or so, we automate the collective. The left hand comes free, it can sit in your lap. Very comfortable, easy to fly. I'm hands free in a sharp angle of bank with about a 2,600 foot per minute rate of climb. I could just roll out, line back up. And right there, even despite the climb at, you're about 180 knots in the pattern. And what we'll do is just a descending right hand turn, and we'll come back in for high speed flight down the runway. Aircraft's very comfortable to fly, very agile, extremely maneuverable. We maintain all the advantages of a turboprop speed and range with all the agility and maneuverability of a helicopter in the lower airspeed environment. So there we're accelerating to out towards 200 knots. And in the length of the runway, we're going to approach about 240, 250 knots. I'll pull it up and left. to a zoom climb out. And we'll peak the VSI at about 8,000 feet per minute. Start to nose it over, level out. And let the aircraft accelerate. So you're sitting at 2,000 feet just a few seconds after departing the airport. I'll now come into an overbank, let the nose fall, and let the aircraft pick up speed. One of the advantages we believe we have is an outstanding field of view. Very nice glass displays. And the ability, that gives us the ability to, and the willingness to really fly fast and low. Uh, basically very much a helicopter type field of view combined with the air speeds of a turboprop. Normally in a turboprop, you have a much more small field of view, and that's what I mean by field of view, is your look outside the aircraft. And that makes you feel a little less willing to get down in the terrain. Here we are at 250 50 knots at less than 200 feet. And you can tell the aircraft's very comfortable, very uh, easy position to fly, very maneuverable. We can pop up and over the small ridge line to the right. We've got unique trim on the side stick, which means as I relax pressure, it's going to hold whatever attitude I put the aircraft in. Still maintaining 240 knots despite pretty aggressive maneuvering, and that's due to a fairly flat bucket. Uh, power power curve where 
the ability to sustain and build airspeed pretty rapidly from about 120 to over 240 knots. What's the most unique feature of the aircraft? So you've got an 11 foot pusher prop behind us and what that allows us to do is both rapid acceleration and deceleration with the level body. Additionally, you can use that prop, run it full aft, get a deceleration started. As the aircraft decelerates, I can point the nose down and hold an airspeed as I descend. Another unique thing I can do is actually decelerate while descending with the nose down, which is not a typical helicopter type profile. So there we're basically hanging on the prop from behind. And I can immediately run that prop forward, start the acceleration again. And now at 120 knots, I can start a very steep climb out hanging on the prop this time pushing us forward up and away so there we are climbing out at over 4,000 feet per minute at a very steep angle so suppose you have protected territory uh, friendlies in a very small perimeter you can get above the small arms threat very quickly and in a very short downrange distance Again, allow the aircraft to build airspeed my left hand is basically free just controlling the prop as needed Very tight radius of turn allows us to rapidly double back on a target if that were required, or it, we get great lateral displacement from either small arms or surface to air threats for a ground threat reaction. Tell us a bit more about the, the Raider program and the two different types of... Yeah, aircraft. absolutely. So the, the Raider is uh, Sikorsky's proprietary program. They're going to primarily look at developing that on their own. Then you have the SB greater than one Defiant, which is what you flew today in the simulator. And that is primarily there to show and demonstrate the technology of the X2 configuration, which is uh, the tech trademark for that type the coaxial pusher prop. The SB greater than one is uh, Sikorsky and Boeing together as a partnership, and it is our submission for the joint multi-role program, which is the Army has requested as the technology demonstrator for the future of vertical lift or FEL. And the idea behind FEL is that you have a scalable series of aircraft from a light scout all the way up to a heavy vertical lift. And we're just gonna demonstrate the technology's capable, the ability to scale it, and then hopefully get into flight test at the end of next year. <laughs>